the runes. You need that sword. Go to the shaft. Find the shafts. Where is it? Find, Find it. it. There it is. Focus. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. But he was the first of the gods to die. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swearing to Neither weapons nor wood will be Open the gate. She can't. Open the gate. It's locked. Try harder. She can't. The gate. She can't. <laughs> she can't. She will. She'll find a way she wants. so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown. ...into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Sigma. you've got it. Why isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. You can't go up there. You can't go up there. Not in this world.
Where are you taking him? He's, he's up there. How do you get up there? There's a way. There is a way up there. Find the way. She can do it. You're nearly there. She can find the way. You broke him. You killed him. You couldn't see the darkness within you. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hoth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hoth is slain. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard. Alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. She's doing out of it. Zinbel and her past. You're special. And Dillian. She she Future. They mean nothing. These Two realities special. tearing at her soul. <laughs> the gods are just. <laughs> what if the gods are laughing at her? Messing with her. It would be. be the first time. He was the only one that really loved her. He did love her. Do you remember how he made you? Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. 
and everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything, except for a giantess they find in the cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Runes, you see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? What if they're a trick? The gods were lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in the world. The gods are playing with you. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't read this language. You don't understand. Sinbel was right. You're wasting time. You're cursed. Slow! Quicker! Your father cannot understand your darkness. So this is Dillian, huh? See through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? I did it, but there's more. There's more. Makes you so special in my head. There's still more. Just another part of It's not thing. going to be easy. You're getting tired. Can you do another one? It's too much. I left for the wilds to protect you from the energy. No. Too much to do because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. 
the sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Bodies piled up. No one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. You have to find him. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senua. You have to get in. speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. That is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt them.
Genoa! Come to me! Where are you? I'm here! I'm right here! Are you in there? I have to find him. Come out if you want. Delia! They're coming for me! Shano, what happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Without you, the 
This darkness has made me a monster. Jesus. King in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. What? So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer right. But when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Herber, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrvin. He loves Oh shit. We going inside? Don't go in there. Go in. You have to go in. Take the torch. It's too dark. <laughs> too dark. <laughs> Okay, we can burn other torches. There he is. Finally, you found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. Him, get him back. Just there. How could you lose him? How could you lose him? Yo, yeah, shut the fuck up. I'll find him. Oh. Disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. It's too scary. The flames I passed. I can hear him. Within the burial mound, 
Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> oh. A secret passage. There we go. Dillion wants me to face my fears. See the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. What a jerk, Dad. No. You will not defy the gods. Whoa. Time to boss battle. Come, child. Take my hand. Come. Send one. I am leaving. You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! 